I wanted to show y'all how I turned the Super G tights into little shorties because there's not a cut line on um, the pattern to do that. And I like to have, and you have different pieces you're working with. You have the gusset and then you have pockets if you want your pockets. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you how to make it even. I'm doing mine. Um, I'm cutting it. I'll show you what the, so this is the piece. So you have, if you don't want a pocket, then you just keep these attached. And if you do want a pocket, then either cut that part off or I'll fold it back. I fold it back so that if there happens to be a time where I don't want a pocket, then I can just lay them next to each other. Um, so anyway, so I have these two pieces and I cut it off to make shorts before I fold that back. So I put it here and then I lined up my two crotch points with my ruler. So I made sure it's at the same spot on my ruler and I cut these off at exactly five inches below that. So that's gonna make my inseam a little over four inches. So you're gonna wanna take into account that there's three eighths of an inch being sewn right here and then whatever the amount you're gonna hem and then after that will be what's left. So mine will be about four inches. Um, and I wouldn't, it's really hard if you go below that to have a pocket because then you're losing pocket depth and I have to even trim off about a quarter of an inch pocket depth at what I put it at. Okay, so I trimmed off my pattern piece. Make sure that your crotch points are even when you trim it. And then once you've trimmed off your shorts, then you can go ahead and fold that back or cut it off. And then you have your front and your back piece. Okay, so now the next measurement that you need is you need to measure from, there's a, a dot on here that shows you where to stop stretching on the gusset. So you're gonna wanna measure how far away that dot is from the bottom of your hem. And mine is two and a half inches. So the dot where I stopped stretching in the gusset is two and a half inches here. So that means I'm gonna pull out my gusset pattern piece and I need to either cut it off or fold it back exactly two and a half inches away from these dots right here. So this will now be my shorts gusset this piece and I'm not measuring from the front and back crotch point I'm measuring from this dot because you're stretching between these two dots so mine is two and a half inches on both sides right there okay so now you know what to cut out for your gusset you're just cutting out one of these um, on some and sometimes I cut out two and burrito roll it and then have my all my seams enclosed um, and I like that so okay now for your pocket you have two pocket pieces you have your um, lower pocket piece and you have your upper pocket piece. And the way that the pocket is sewn on this pattern is that you are, let's see, let me fold it out. It's like this. You are sewing these two pieces right sides together like this, and then you're folding this down so that you're not hemming your pocket, but your pocket, it's there's ends up being three layers right here. Um, and there's just um, a fold right here at the top of your pocket as opposed to some kind of a seam. And your seam is actually down here. So I measured, I lined up where the pocket fold line is. So I went ahead and just put my pattern piece like that. And then I measured, I just put it up exactly right next to where it's gonna go on here. And I found out where I need to cut the bottom pocket piece off. And I folded that up and I compared it to both my front and my back. Um, and you can also compare it to that stripe um, and I folded it back. And I noticed when I fold it back, it only gives me about a quarter or three eighths inch um, between that and here. And I'm gonna need to be able to hem this by folding it underneath that pocket. So is what I'm gonna do is trim off about a quarter inch. You can do that when you sew it. So just take a, a bigger seam allowance when you sew your lower and upper pockets, um, or you can make your hem longer than I did. Um, so maybe make yours five and a half inches. Um, if you don't want to lose any of your pocket, but the pockets are plenty deep in here that even though I lost a quarter inch um, in my pocket, I still can fit my phone in it and I can still fit tennis balls in it. So I'm fine with that. So I end up taking about a half inch seam whenever I sew my lower and upper pocket just so that I can hem. Okay, so let's get started sewing. 